Right, so this principle relates to what we call the collision effect. So really it's how you can pretty much double your impact power. So think about a car crash analogy. So if you had a car here and a car here and this car was veering towards this one and this one saw that and hit reverse and it kind of clipped it as it hit reverse, that would be the least damaging impact of all. That's like throwing a shot at someone's chin, they move back but they still catch it. Conversely to that, imagine a stationary car that has no intel that this is coming and then this one smashes straight into it. That's going to create a lot of damage. But the biggest damage of all is when you have a car coming at velocity this way, a car coming at velocity this way, and then they meet and you get this head on the collision. One way in which you can create that when you hit the head or hit the, um, the, the low line target is from an attachment. So as one example, if I was clinched with him, I could just hold him and knee him or I could pull him onto the knee. So you see where we're going with this, right? So what I'm going to relate it to is one strike, and that's just an open-handed shot, shot to the, to the head. We can hit the forehead, we can hit the chin on the jawbone. If he turned his head slightly, I'd hit the side of the head. If he turned completely, I'd hit the back of the skull. I'm going to hit a bony plate with this part of my palm. Because it's a, a formation, it's a piston, and it's backed up with a straight column of bone via my whole skeletal system. So when I drop my weight and fire the shot into the target, as long as I have depth through the target, I should get good purchase when I hit it. But I'm going to maximise that if I'm already attached and I pull him onto it. So I'm just going to give you a sequence of drills that you can do, right? So initially you could just hold on to the back of the forearm, but what I recommend is that you get some fabric. So this has got a bit of a elasticity to it, it's a band. I'm going to put it over this um, forearm. And I would replicate taking a, like a monkey thumbless grip on the material. And what this would replicate would be I've hit it, and I've grabbed it, and just grabbed an attachment. And that might be a garment, it might be um, a contour of his neck or his body, it might be his hair, it might be his beard, it might be his fat face, it might be anything at all, just something to grip on. So now I've got an attachment. So the benefit of having an attachment are as follows. If I am at a clinical preemptive strike and immediately attach, it's because I have the intention to follow up. If after this first shot, the man is semi-conscious or unconscious, he will start to make it centered to the ground. In which case, if I'm indexed and attached, I can take out some of the impetus of his fall or actually literally guide him all the way down. Chances are when I hit him and I grab him, he's gonna fall and I'm gonna lose grip. But that will take out some of the impetus of his fall. In the best world, I'm not going to actually be able to control his descent. And that's really important for self-protection in the street um, from the, the context of uh, dealing with legalities afterwards. People get killed by getting hit in the head and then the relaxed neck and shoulders and skull hits a planter on the way down or hits the pavement. And you get a headline in the paper saying one punch man dead it wasn't a punch, it was the pavement. So it's really important, if you can gain an attachment, it can allow you to control the descent. So picture in your head, hitting someone clinical with a shot, grabbing them, and as they fall, pushing them in the, into the recovery position. Now you demonstrate your duty of care, if you like, as a, as a good citizen, right? The other reason that we want to attach is if the first shot wasn't enough, in which case, when I hit him, he's going to stab at me, and now I've got an attachment, which means I can hit him again and again and again repeatedly until the job's done. And I can do that at my leisure because I've got an attachment which allows me to keep him close. The other reason is it's tactile. So as soon as I hold him and this dynamic begins, it's chaotic. Your visual intel, your foot vision is tunneled. The intel that you've got now is tactile. So if I can feel as I'm hitting him, his body slump, I know that the hard skill I've employed has done its job. And I can hit the big red stop button in my brain and cease further force. Conversely, if I feel him pushing and pulling against me as I'm going, he's telling me that I need to keep going. It's a sensory antenna. Uh, the other thing that gives me is what we're talking about here, is collision effect. So if I can hit him hard with this shot, that's good. And if I can pull him onto the shot, that's much better. So that's the idea of um, where we're going with attachment, talking about this principle of collision effect. Final thing, if I was in some way indexed, or attached, and there's a secondary subject coming in and you use the subject for cover. So when you hit somebody, grabbing hold of them to repeatedly hit them is very fucking useful, right? So first one, little drill you can do, put some fabric around the wrist of your pad feeder. Ideally, it could have some 
elasticity to it. This is like a band. But even a towel will do. All right. First thing you're going to do is recognize and get the scope for your current preemptive, right? So you want to hit through your pad. You want to hit basically no adjustment, just a bit shot. All right, so you get a few of those in there. So, and from here, I'm going to gain an attachment which replicates. So I hit him and I've got a hold of him now. I'm just going to hold, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to hold. <coughs> Then I'm going to take this band and implement the pull part. So I understand how I'm using this machine. This is rotation, core rotation as I drop weight, which forces this side of my body into and through the target. Conversely to that, this side of my body is pulling back away from the target. So I'm going to accentuate that action. So from here I'm going to take this band, and what I'm going to do is pull, turn my core and pull my elbow to my hip, which is a mechanically very strong structure, very strong structure. So I'm going to practice the pull. Then all I'm going to do is put the two together. So I pull as I hit. Thereby maximizing my impact power. This is the collision effect.